spring at Tel Yehuda. No one around. I wanted to see it like this. Last summer's poster hanging by one tack in the wind. The empty cabins. I was a camper here, and like all kids, I thought I knew just what I wanted in life. I didn't know yet what changes were in store for me. But later, on resumes and applications, I always wanted to write somewhere, Tel Yehuda, Hashachar, Young Judea. Those were the experiences where I really grew. Those were the days that changed my life. I've got a teenage son now, and he'll play on these fields, and eat in this dining room, and sit in those chairs like I did, and have those days that change his life. There were young Judea clubs all over when I was growing up. Now the name is Hashachar, and it's a movement. It's not something you occasionally do, but something you consciously are. Ordinary street? Yes. Not ordinary kids. Selling hot water. Your hunger is rampant the next page. Whose hunger is rampant? That's him. That's me. Going to a club meeting was my first step into the movement. When I first heard that word club, I thought basketball, dancing, cards, hanging out. It wasn't. These kids were my age, rehearsing a play about the Holocaust that they wrote and asking, what do you think? In a refugee center, an eight-year-old child went mad, screamed, I want to steal, I want to rob, I want to eat, I want to be a German. August 25th, 1941. You don't ask who's in charge. You're in charge. Wrote this preface to the play. I'd like to read you the first line of that preface and ask you how you feel about it. The characters of Shadow on the Night participate in a common history. They tell one story. New kids come in, older Do kids go on. Story? The programs bring in more people. Clubs lead to summer camps, trips to Israel, a whole Jewish community sort of inside the Jewish community. It is a movement. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, you can't take such numbers and say, well, they died. But if you look at each person and think of their life and what they went through individually like we saw it gives everything a new meaning as soon as I got in I was totally in scenario rain New York Harbor Staten Island Ferry we were on our way to Manhattan to march in the Israel Independence Day Parade up Fifth Avenue <laughs> Once you're in it, you're in it. There were kids there from all over, and every other one I met had been to Israel on a summer trip. A lot had been for a year, and most of them had gone to Young Judea camp or Tel Yehuda. Three weeks later, I was there. The New Jersey group from the March were having a regional convention and invited me up. thinking, where has this been all my life? This was just what I wanted. After years of Hebrew school and a family that talked about Israel and Zionism, this is what made the most sense to me. And it was like in a club meeting. You didn't have to wonder who was in charge. We were. I went in front of advisory board. I'll know if I was advised or not. You won't because you didn't go. And there were advisors who had seen it all. And if you asked them, they would lay it out loud and clear. Say what I'm saying. The whole concept that we're trying to do here is to get them to love, which they do right now, and say, hey, I'm more gung-ho for it. And eventually they'll get there. She'll get there on year course. She'll get there on summer course. She'll get there in one of our programs. And when you're there for a year, when you're there for a good amount of time, then you're going to, and you're older, you're going to see whether it's for you or not for you, or maybe I should go back to college in the United States. Maybe I'll come back here for, for some graduate work, or maybe the graduate work is more important in the United States, whatever it may be. 
that's really if you're looking for a, that, that, that's the essence of what we're doing and this is what we've been doing for for 25 years here in the camp and this is really what young judea is they stayed up all night we stayed up for the election of next year's leaders partly of course i was just a visitor along for the ride but really i felt i belong here can give him that extra added maturity and that respect that he doesn't and have when he's given have. the responsibility he does come through that's right <laughs> This really is a dance of many people, more than you can see. It's my generation too, and thousands who have been touched by many experiences in Hashachar. Camps, clubs, summers or years in Israel, and people who make the movement possible. Thousands and thousands of women in Hadassah. All of them are part of an experience of days, that change lives. I was in Young Judea since I was a little girl and went to camp every summer and stood there and watched my older brother go to Israel just like my kid sister is watching me now. Listen, she knows that someday it's her turn. This is a very shahar house. I would not let my mom come to the airport with me. Crazy? You'd be surprised. You say goodbye at home. You get into the cab to the airport. You're halfway to Israel. She understood. Does it write to us? Okay, take care. Terrific. <laughs> Hello, Blake Wallace. <laughs> it seemed like everyone was going to Israel. You don't have to know all these kids, because you already know all these kids, if you see what I mean. Yeah, you can ask, what's your name, and where did you go to school, and who is in your bunk at camp. But what you really want to know, you already know. And a minute later, or maybe it's a day, you're there. השקיפה ממון קודשך מן השמיים, וברך את עמך, את ישראל ואת האדמה אשר נתת לנו, כאשר נשבעת לאבותינו, אמן. אמן, אמן. Heavenly Father, thou buildest Zion in Jerusalem, take pleasure in thy land, and bestow upon it of thy goodness and thy grace. All my life there was a blue box in the kitchen to plant a tree in Israel. Now, I am actually planting one, myself. There are trees that were planted by the kids who were here last year, and bigger ones from the year before. Next year, they'll say, the group from last year. If you look around you, you will see that much of the area... We're not tourists. We belong here. waiting for people to settle. Like the people, if there is one... My Madris said, when you get to Israel, you can use the Bible as a guidebook, because it's all still there. Keturah. Keturah. I heard about it for years. This one's brother was there, 
That one sister just came back from a visit. Gee, the desert is rough. Yes, that's what it's all about. And suddenly, we were there. Like any farm, as the sun comes up, and then you realize those mountains are ancient history. And those are your friends doing what people have always tried to do here, make it grow and live. And they're making it. I first came to Ketura in 1972 with the Young Judea Summer Chorus. And we drove up the road here. It was absolutely nothing. It was an army base. We got off the bus and the leader said to us, you know, kids, one day there's going to be a kibbutz of Young Judea here. I got back to the movement and the discussions had already started. We were starting the kibbutz in 1973 that one day there would be something. And I learned and I filled in the things that I didn't know through the discussion groups that tell you who to. I came back here in 1974 with the Mahon, and there was already a kibbutz here. There were people living here doing things, milking cows. And I decided this is the place that I wanted to try to live. So I came back in 1976 to try to live. And already in front of my eyes in the past three years, a kibbutz starts to come up. Trees, grass, children, it's unbelievable. Every day, every week, I go away for a week on vacation, I come back, there's people I don't know, there's buildings I haven't seen before. And sometimes we forget how special it is here, but when you look and you see what there is and what's been built here, I don't know, sometimes it's a little bit amazing, and I would just hope that more people would get to see it and people would have the bravery to try it. <laughs> we spend a few days with the Israeli scouts. They call it camp. I call it basic training. We are not as rugged as they are. And the Hadassah Youth Center, where if you've lost track of anyone, you eventually pick up on them again and find out where they've been and what they're going to do next. This is where the world's major problems are solved. Jerusalem. I can hear my grandfather saying, next year in Jerusalem. And not just Jerusalem, but the wall. And not just any day, but Tisha B'Av, which commemorates the destruction of the temple. This wall was part of that temple. We all knew it, and we all had to say it again to remind ourselves. Tisha B'Av, for anyone who went to camp, is a camp holiday because it comes in the summer. And here we all were, again. That's how it felt, again. But what and again? If I hadn't joined Young Judea, if I hadn't been part of Young Judea, I probably would not have gotten him. Wherever we go, we meet people who grew up in the movement like us, came to Israel, and stayed. Uh, I think that what Young Judea gave me, which Hadassah, of course, made possible, was a Jewish experience. Uh, I think that's what it can do for so many Jewish kids in America, which is so important, and that is to show them what Jewish life is all about. And I think that's what Tell Yehuda is all about. We used to say, what is being Jewish? As Bubu would say, being Jewish is to be a human being in a Jewish way. And when I used to have these little kids at Tell Yehuda, 13 and 14 year olds who were my campers, I used to explain to them that the month of Tell Yehuda was a month in Jewish life. Whether it was swimming in the pool, playing baseball, going to services, singing Israeli songs, etc. And when I look back and I, I think of myself today, what Young Judea has done, it's, it has given me, or it makes it possible for me to give to my son what my father could not give to me. Perhaps it's best symbolized by the Passover Seder. My grandfather could do the Passover Seder by heart. My father has trouble eating a Seder. I'd love to lead a Seder. And that's what I can do. And that's what I have to say. That's what Hadassah did. That's what young Judea did. It made us Jewish. The graduates of Hashachar are all over Israel. They've grown with the land. And more, many more, are the strength of Jewish life and community in the United States. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, 
אשר קידשנו במצוותיו וציוונו להדליק נר של שבת. I live in a bayad in Philadelphia. I could just drift on and on and be mainstream America, but I've always wanted more. I want to lead a Jewish life every day, and that's what I'm doing living in this bayad. ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם, המוציא לך מן הארץ. Shabbat is something special here. We get Hashachar graduates from all over who happen to be in Philadelphia. They come here because deep down everyone wants that focus they had at Tel Yehuda or on year course. Six of us live here, but there's always more than six around. Our bayat is just one of many. Just look at Mark. He runs a radio program at the university station every morning, all on his own time. and partly on his own money. Sounds of Jerusalem. I'm Mark Grossman, along with the whole Sounds of Jerusalem team, and together we present to you three hours of the best Israeli rock, folk, and Hasidic music. Project Chaver, Philadelphia Jewish Vista Corps, needs more students to help lonely, disadvantaged Jews in our community. Give a little time, get a great experience, and a lot of satisfaction. Coming up now, it's 8.28, and in our WKDU newsroom, we have Mimi Lenio and David Ghani with the bilingual news. ישראל החזירה את אל אריש לידיים מצריות לאחר 12 שנות שלטון באזור. העיר הוחזרה בטקס, בטקס רשמי שציין את ראשית המשא ומתן על אוטונומיה לתושבי הגדה המערבית. And she's been a counselor and group leader. My feeling is, as a mother and as a person who has grown up through the Hashachar movement, that if you're going to send your children to camp, why not go one step further and send them to a camp that's going to educate them, that's going to give them a tremendous feeling of Judaism and give them some commitment for their future life to Zionism. At this meeting of the Southeast region, one of the Hashachar staff conducted a little quiz. How much do these ardent supporters of the program really know about it? I went to the True Falls. Actually, y'all are doing very well. I can see especially some of you are so confident with it. It looks like we didn't stump you after all. All right, 11. Hashachar and Young Judea mean the same thing. All right, some said, well, okay, this one is kind of tricky because I said before, they don't really mean the same thing. They refer to a lot of the same people, and traditionally, and we don't get very picky with it because if they know one of them, we think that's progress. <laughs> But <laughs> we would like to correct wherever possible the Hashachar is the overall, all levels combined in young Judea are all except the eldest, all except the college age. So in a sense, the Hamag Shimim are often, not always, the leaders, the Madrachim, for the younger. The beauty of a, of a junior camp, I think, for the Hashachar movement is that it brings together all the kids from many, many, many states, including Puerto Rico in our camp, they come. And it gives them uh, children from all different backgrounds, reform, conservative, and orthodox. And it puts them in a situation where they're all the same, and they're all learning, and they all do the same things, and they learn from one another, and it exposes a lot of children who've never been exposed to any Judaism or Zionism to this in a very natural, normal kind of way. Good morning, Camp Young Judea. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. The sun is shining. For me, too, it started at camp. That could be me, rising and shining at Young Judea. I came from a town with maybe five Jewish families. That one month at camp really counted for something. We learned Hebrew. We lived a Jewish life every day. We learned what love of Israel meant. And best of all, we did this all together. One year we were the Ofarim, and then before you knew it, Sophim, step by step. And if someone had told us it was planned sequential education, we would have just giggled. What we knew at age 10 was Ofarim. Okay. How would I say more than one ka kapit? Kapito. Kapiot. Kapiot. Oh. 
Okay, Debbie, what is it? Sakin. Okay, yes, Lee, Sakin, a hard, yes, Lee, Schnee. Sakin. So. For the next station in the CYJ Wax Museum, we now take you back to 1100 BCE. Susanna, press the button. Barack, my commander, my general, what are we going to do? The people are crying in despair to God. We've got to do something. A special day, so Yom Resistance, but with tomorrow, skits about Jews through history who stood fast. And a follow-up. What do you think about it? Let's write an article about something that you saw in the museum. Mm -hmm. Deborah's army, with her general Barak, conquering Sisera, who had 900 chariots. We only had 10,000 men. So we want you to write the article as though it were to come out in the newspaper that evening. One that child wrote, join our army and see Mount Tabor. Another follow-up. You are Anne Frank. What scenes do you dream from your attic window? Draw them. First couple words are Chag Purim, Chag Purim. We learned in the summer what we'd need in the winter, like how to conduct a club meeting. Today, the kids have video feedback. They get to see how they look and their friends tell them how they acted. Okay, and the two... Was he in control of the group? No! What was happening? We lost a little while ago. <laughs> we were the ones that we, we, were the ones that we were the ones that were speaking, we were like the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead, Joel. We were kind of... 93, We always learned in groups, from each other, and the wonderful spirit of the place. One, two, three, up! In! And we learn from people we would never have met back home, like our Israeli scout leader. They seem to know exactly who they were and what it was we needed. Whatever they taught us brought us closer together. Everyone repeat even if you know it, okay? Call Yisrael, call Yisrael, Yishlachem, Yishlachem, Pelech, Pelech, Ba'olam Haba. ourselves as the Ofarim, Sophim, and so on, living for 30 days a charmed life that, that was somehow special and right. A seed was planted in us and nurtured, and we grew from that seed. Now we are the leaders of the community, and we are putting our kids on the same path.
Okay, guys, turn off the light. From week to week, from day to day, the lives of all these children touch a whole world that has gone before. Good night, Natalie. Good night, Lisa. No one here yet. In a month, my own son will be here, discovering, whether he knows it or not, what he really wants. He doesn't see himself, of course, as involved in a world of little girls from towns with only five Jewish families, and youngsters on year course, and kids in clubs all over, and kibbutzniks at Keturah, and Hadassah women who keep all the Hashachar programs going, and the dedication of young people in a bayat, and graduates of a shachar who settled in Israel, and those who are the strength of communities here, but he uses the word movement, and he is in it even more than he knows. I wonder if someday he won't say, yep, those were the days that changed my life too.